Check, check. Uh, can everyone gather to their seats? Uh, we'll be starting the reception shortly. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the appetizers and uh, took use of the photo booth in the back. Uh, if you guys still haven't been able to use that, I advise you to uh, use that in the back corner over there. Uh, so today I'll be your co uh, MC uh, with the uh, maid of honor, uh, Daniela, who will be coming in shortly with the wedding party. Uh, this, uh, is this is my first time, time being an MC, so, so if you have, if you any, have any, uh, objections any objections or any, any complaints, <laughs> make sure to take that to Tony, Tony Thomas. Thomas. He is yeah, the, the brother, brother of the bride. The bride. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully but that doesn't happen and in, we have a great time. Great time. Uh, uh, so, so as we wait as we for the wedding party, party uh, I just uh, want to take this time to make sure that everyone is seated in their right location and we have the seating charts outside. So. Uh, if you, uh, have, if any you have any problem getting, getting to your seat, seat uh, just, uh, just check, check that. that. Uh, uh, I've known Tinsy Tage, Tage for a long time. A long time. We've, been We've been going to the same church for a while, and, and our, families our families have grown, grown really, really close together. Close together. Uh, We've uh, had we the had privilege the of going, going to mission, mission trips and vacations, vacations together, together, and there's and always there's something that sticks out. A couple years ago when we went to Fiji for a mission trip, uh, we, were uh, we were going for this graduation, graduation ceremony, ceremony, and it was, it was an outdoor, outdoor ceremony, ceremony, but it had, it had uh, sheet, sheet, sheets on top, so, so you could, you could still, still feel the air and stuff, and she was wearing a brand new dress, and, and we were all saying, like, how nice she looks, and right before she walks in, we hear the splat, and then we look around, and right on her dress, a bird just pooped on her dress, before anyone even got to see the dress. So, so, you know, in my head, head I was like, man, I thought that only happened in cartoons. Like, like, what are the what odds of that ever happening? But I guess that's why she didn't have an outdoor wedding. Um, I guess she didn't want to push her luck. So uh, as we wait, uh, I want to make sure that everyone is ready when the wedding party comes. So uh, if you haven't started eating, uh, you can pick up your napkins. And I want this side of the room to start waving their napkins. Again, if you already started eating, we don't want food to be thrown in the air. So if you didn't use your napkins, uh, start waving them around. Let me get this side. Let's see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now this side. Oh, come on. All right, so I need to make sure that this is all ready when the wedding party comes in. So everyone, uh, make sure that they're ready and make sure to clap your hands and we'll have the wedding party come in soon. everyone's attention to the back of the room, back of the room, the two exits back there. First up, we have the parent of the bride, Mr. Thomas Matthew, the father of the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Philip and Mrs. Sophie Nine. Let's see those towels, people. All right. Next up, we have the siblings of the bride, Mr. and Mrs. Tony and Anu Thomas, with their little girl. Imela and Ivana. All right, next up we have the wedding party. The wedding party. We have the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. And we'll start off with the best man. Michael, Michael Rungle Tim Pong and the maid of honor, honor Daniela Villagrand. Let's see those towels, people. All right. Next up, we have 
Daniel Adams and Lynn Daniel. Next up, we have Logan Meyer and Alina Varghese. All right, and finally, we have John Paul Flores and Franny Dadiana. It's the moment that we've all been waiting for. The brand new couple. Can I have everyone please stand up? All right, let me see those towels up. Those hands be clenched. All right, now it is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Pinto. All right. All right. I appreciate, I appreciate the, hype. the hype. And now, now for our opening prayer, prayer and thanks for the food, can, can I, I ask, ask Brother, Brother Joby, Joby Matthews, Matthews? Brother Joby Brother Matthews. Joby Matthews. Let's pray. Our gracious Amen. Lord and loving Lord, Heavenly Father, Father, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Lord, we Lord, thank, we thank you, for, you for our dear, our dear Pindo, Pindo and Tinsi. Thank, thank you for the wonderful, wonderful marriage service that we had this morning. Lord, we thank you for all the gathering here. here. We commit all of us we to you, Father God. Lord, we ask you to bless Pindo and Tinsi and their, and their family life. May your blessings be upon them all the time. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the person who takes refuge in him. Even the young lions do lack and they go hunger. But those who seek the name of the Lord will lack no good things. Father God, you bless them with your good things, O Lord. Lord, you continue to help them so that they will always depend on you, Father God. Lord, we thank you for this gathering. Thank you for the food that is about to be served. Lord, we ask you to bless it. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Bless each and every one who are gathered here. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, so I said I was the co-host. So here is our other co-MC, uh, Ms. Daniela. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Daniela, I'm, I'm one of the, the, the maid of honor and one of Tinsy's, uh, one of Tinsy's uh, best friends. Um, I've known her since pharmacy school, school and it's and been a blessing knowing her. her. Uh, so uh, uh, up next in our program, we have, we have, we have uh, Thomas' uh, uncle for the uh, parent, parent speech. speech. And uh, it's been a it's blessing, blessing also knowing Thomas' uncle. uncle. He's, He's like, like another father, father for me too. too. So, so if we all give a round of applause. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am surprised while seeing the blessings from the Heavenly Father all these blessings are from heaven. This is the gift which we have God given to us. I am so happy 
all of you are here in this occasion also. I can only say thank you. Thank you, brothers and sisters, and the Heavenly Father. Now I am here to say something, but I am not a preacher or a teacher. I cannot speak very well. But I want to talk about uh, the God-given gift to me is Tinsi. <coughs> she is a blessed one. She is loving. She is caring. From the beginning up to this time, I don't have any problem with her. Any problem, that means not a problem. He's a blessed child. He loves, she cares, especially <coughs> while I was remembering, when I was in India, in Kerala, she was very small, nursery going school uh, student. She told Mama, Mama like, Dada like, uh, the mango bites, you know, toffee in India, mango bites, it's very sweet. She told her mama, Daddy, don't have any to toffee there. You send two toffee in the Indian letters, because you have to eat. That is the love and caring about me when she was very young. Secondly, she is thinking of her daddy is in Kerala, he doesn't have any job there. I was at home looking after my parents for a while. She told her, her brother, Tony, Baya, that means brother, please send 15 rupees to daddy, because he don't have any pocket money there. And I will give you back when I get the payment. That kind of child. Now I want to talk about Pindu. When he came to see my daughter and uh, we discussed something what I have to ask. And uh, I was very happy with his answers. I am not going to explain here what I talk. I said, this is my heart. I got a heart. I got two children. One is Tony and one is Tinsi. This half part I am giving to you. But this is a gift from God and it's a perfect gift. If you are taking her hand, Take responsibility. He is here. He is watching and listening. So, Pinto is very soft spoken, very good nature, silent. He never speaks more, but he is a good child. Even now I am telling Pinto, I am giving the full responsibility to you. But I will be a watchdog. In the other gate. <laughs> okay. And uh, I would like to uh, welcome Pinto and the entire family to our family. We are a very small family. We have limited people here. We got relatives in different places in India and Canada, and so many people cannot be here according to the weather problem and the old age problems. So, I think they will be watching this program. I thank everybody, and I need everybody's prayer for this. Our children, Our children. we all we love these children, right? right? Not only, Not only me, me, as a father. You all you love, love these children, children. and I ask yeah. your love, your love and continuous prayer for my children. Uh, nothing more to add. Thank you, Thank you very much.
Next up, we have, um, unfortunately, the parents and the grandparents of uh, Pinto weren't able to make it here today, but we do have um, a video message from them. Um, so if you will go ahead and look at the screen, and uh, you'll hear the message, and we'll also be hearing uh, next from the groom's uncle and auntie, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Philip and Sophie Nyman. ഭംഗിയായിരുന്നു <laughs> പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു <laughs> ദൈവത്തിന് മാത്രം ഉണ്ടാകട്ടെ പിൻ്റെ മോൻ്റെയും ജിസിമോടെയും കളിച്ച് വിവാഹം മംഗളമായി തീരാൻ ദൈവത്തോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു അവരുടെ കുടുംബ ജീവിതം ധന്യമായി തീരാൻ സകല ആശംസങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രിയവിൻ്റെ കുട്ടൻ്റെയും ജിൻസ് മോളുടെയും വിവാഹം എത്രയെന്ന് നന്നായി നല്ല രീതിയിൽ നടക്കുവാനും എല്ലാ നില എല്ലാ നിലയിലും നിങ്ങളെ ഞങ്ങൾ അനുഗ്രഹിച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു സകല ആശംസകളും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നേരുന്നു നിങ്ങളുടെ കുടുംബജീവിതം എത്രയും ധന്യമായി തീരട്ടെ എന്നും സന്തോഷവും സമാധാനമുള്ള ഒരു കുടുംബജീവിതം ഞങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നേരുന്നു ദൈവം നിങ്ങളെ ധാരാളമായി അനുഗ്രഹിക്കും ഞാൻ പിന്നോട്ട് എൽഡർ സിസ്റ്റർ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുമാണ് കുടുംബജീവിതത്തിലേക്ക് പ്രവേശിക്കുന്ന പിൻഡോയ്ക്കും ടിൻസിക്കും എന്റെയും ചാച്ചിന്റെയും മക എല്ലാവിധ വിവാഹ ആശംസകളും നേരുന്നു സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവം നിങ്ങളുടെ കുടുംബജീവിതം ഏറ്റവും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെടുമാറാകട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കുട്ടൻ്റെ എങ്ങ സിസ്റ്ററും ഫാമിലിയുമാണ് വിവാഹിതരാകുന്ന കുട്ടനും ജീൻസ് ചേച്ചിക്കും എല്ലാവിധ മംഗളാശംസകളും നേരുന്നു എല്ലാവിധ സമാധാനവും സന്തോഷവും നൽകി നിങ്ങളുടെ കുടുംബജീവിതത്തെ ദൈവം അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഹായ് കുട്ട ഹായ് ടിൻസി വിവാഹിതരാകുന്ന നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവിധ മംഗളാശംസകളും നേരുന്നു നല്ലൊരു കുടുംബജീവിതം നയിക്കാൻ ദൈവം നിങ്ങളെ ധാരാളമായി സഹായിക്കട്ടെ Well, I need moral support, so I brought my wife along. Well, good afternoon. I am Pindo's uncle and my wife, Sophie, Pindo's aunt. It is with great, great, grateful hearts, my family and I, on behalf of Pindo's parents and Exeter family, thank each of you for taking the time. out of your busy schedule to celebrate the moments this momentous occasion of pindo and tinsi's marriage with us uh, pindo is my nephew i have five sisters and pindo is my eldest uh, sister's son uh, they are three children pindo and his two sisters you just saw them uh, pindo grew up in a christian home his faith was especially influenced by his grandparents i think they pray for him more than they did for me every time i call home my parents first question is how is pindo doing i do think they are partial to him because he is the first grandson out of 14 grandkids and three great grandchildren as his as uncle, uncle i have I had the had privilege of uh, watching, watching him grow up, grow up. One, of one of the character qualities that i always impress that always, impre- that always that impressed me about pindo is honesty. honesty i have, I have never, never seen, seen him embellish a story, story even if even he if repeats it so multiple, multiple times, times. the other the character other quality i have I seen in pindo is that, that he always see the good in people, people. Uh, uh, he is always, always willing, willing to give people, people the benefit, benefit of the doubt, of the doubt. Uh, pindo, uh, pindo is a hard, is a hard worker. worker 
He has, he has over the over years, years demonstrated, demonstrated his unwavering, unwavering trust, trust in God, in God and, he will, and he will, that he will, that supply, he will supply all his all needs. needs. It has been, it has been exciting, exciting to watch Pindo watch and Tinsi as, as they sought the Lord the for Lord his will for his regarding, regarding this marriage. This marriage. We are so we glad, are so glad to see where to God, see where has, God led, has led them. them. Pindo went, went from this mellow person, person to always, to always being, being so excited, so excited when, we when we would ask about Tinsi. His eyes would light up as soon as, as we soon mentioned Tinsi, so we knew so he really knew liked her. Tinsi, we couldn't, we couldn't ask, for ask for a better life partner, life partner for Pindo. For Pindo. Uh, welcome, welcome to the family, to the family. officially. officially. Uh, we are glad we that are God glad brought you into his, his life as life well as, as ours. ours. Uh, you have been, you such, have a been such a blessing to us blessing already. already. I know his I parents, know his siblings, siblings, and the rest and of the our rest family of our can't family wait to meet you in person. In closing, let me leave you with these words. It's in it's Ephesians, in Ephesians chapter, four, chapter 4, verse number, verse two. number 2. It says, it says always, always be humble, be humble and, gentle. and gentle. Be patient, be patient with, each with each other, making allowance, allowance for each for other's, each faults, other's faults, faults because of your love. love. In other words, in other words show, grace show grace to each to other. Each other. We, love we love you and wish you, and wish you both a wonderful married life. May God bless you. All right, well, All right, thank, well you for thank you for that. Um, uh, we're going to have, gonna have uh, a, game, a game, and, and I'm going to explain, I'm gonna how, explain, it explain how it goes. And if, and anyone, if anyone would like, would to, like participate, to participate, uh, don't, uh, hesitate don't hesitate to come up here. Come up here. Uh, uh, I'm, going I'm going to announce, announce a certain item, and, and our contestants are going to go around the room looking for those items with our guests, our wedding guests. So if anyone would like to come up and volunteer. I see. This, I, I told you this would happen, so I knew I had to call up people. So uh, we have a couple of names written down. Uh, Elizabeth Johnson. Everyone, give a hand for Elizabeth Johnson. Uh, Abigail, I, I, I saw you coming up. You can come up too. All right. Next up, we have Jeremy Joyce. Jeremy Joyce. Jeremy Joyce. Uh, next, we uh, have, next Mark we have Mark Phillip. Come on, guys, Come give on, them guys. Some, some, some support here. Right here. Uh, Noah, uh, Thomas. Noah Thomas. <laughs> Noah Thomas. Uh, uh, Natasha Nynan. Okay. So the first so item the first on this item list on this is, is gum. gum. So the first one to bring so me back gum. Bring me back gum. Go. Go. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> okay, we got our gum here. The next. Oh, yes, please. Uh, you can keep your items and make sure you give it back so they can follow, catch you. With the gum, gum, whoever he took it from. Uh, next, next one, one is a hairbrush. Hair Who has a hairbrush? Hair <laughs> <laughs> come on, Abigail, come on! Oh, we got a winner here. Round of applause. I know. Are our contestants back? Are you ready? The next item on the list is lipstick. I need a lipstick. Run the fashion run! Oh, right, we got a lipstick. You can hold it. Ready? Where's that go? You ready, you ready Abigail? Abigail? The next, the next one, one is a, is a phone, phone charger. charger. Does anyone, Does anyone have, have a phone, phone charger? charger. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, battery pack. Do we have phone chargers here? I know someone has a phone charger to take tons of pictures. Over there, someone has it raised over there. Oh, oh. We have a phone. We have a half of it. That was a good try. Is this a phone charger? That's definitely a phone charger. I don't know, it looks kind of outdated. That's well counted. Oh. So this one, if you can't find it, I'm sure you can find it from the groom behind us. I hear he likes to put a lot on, and it's called a perfume. Does anyone have a perfume? So there's a so funny, there's story funny story with perfume, with perfume here. here. Uh, <laughs> some uh, very good friend of yours says that every time you go out, <laughs> you want to smell wonderful for your bride. Oh, oh, oh. this one was in my hat first. You want? <laughs> that was good, Abigail. That was good. I think who had the most? Okay, so do you have one? Okay. okay. I think, I think Abigail, Abigail is our, is our winner, winner though. though. Give it a I round of applause to Abigail. That was the fastest I've seen her run. <laughs> now you can go return these to who you're there from. <laughs> so can so I, I finish this story? It's a very cute story. <laughs> So, um, Michael says that one time he was sleeping and um, Pinto came into the room to put some perfume on and he left and he comes back because he forgot that he already put perfume on and so he puts on more on himself and Michael's just looking at him like, why is he putting more perfume on? <laughs> he already put it on. So I hear you do love it a lot. So, everyone, that's a good gift to give him. All right, next All right. we'll have the cake cutting ceremony. All right, if everyone will join me in giving a round of applause, we are about to introduce um, uh, NRHBC uh, youth, youth is going to be singing a special song for the bride and groom and the party. So give them a round of applause.
Howdy, everybody. Congratulations to Tensi Chechi and Pinto Church again. Um, so we're just going to sing as a church youth. Just a, We're really excited for you guys, so we just wanted to sing uh, just a worship song. So we'll sing uh, When Death Was Arrested. Thank you. 
I see you all over there not eating. You can come and sit on your table and eat and join us <laughs> in breaking bread. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna introduce myself again. Um, give me one second. So I hope I can do this without crying. Um, over here. If I look at you, I might cry. <laughs> um, so my name is Daniela, and I'm one of Tinsy's best friends. I first met Tinsy in the year 2014, the day before entering pharmacy school. And she wasn't supposed to be my roommate. Uh, and I surely didn't foresee us becoming bestest friends. Uh, if I'm being honest, I thought I'd have the most things in common with my Hispanic roommate. <laughs> but I was wrong completely, and I've never been more glad to be wrong. It turns out I'd end up having the most important thing in common with her, and that a friendship would grow firmly on this one and sol only solid rock, Jesus Christ. Um, by the Lord's grace and mercy, uh, I came to know and believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior through a simple invitation from Tinsey to church. And since then, she's been a great testimony of how it looks to be obedient to the Lord while being surrounded by the world. In fact, it was the first thing I noticed about her as I got to know her more and more. There was a light about her and a vast amount of kindness to all of those around her and a genuineness incomparable. But above all, there was obedience and patience. It takes a lot of patience to be friends with me. <laughs> I am as stubborn as an ox. <laughs> so when God was uh, working in my heart and sanctifying me through many trials, Tinsy was uh, right there, patiently waiting for God to work. And through it all, she did it with patience. She helped me when I was weak. And those who know how painfully and helplessly weak we are apart from God are more ready to endure the weaknesses of others. Uh, they don't resent helping for the hundredth time because they trust and submit to God's plan. And boy, has there been a hundred times with me. <laughs> so thank you. She's encouraged me when I was uh, faint-hearted, testing her patience when I was easily discouraged. But still, she continued walking with me even when the path I walked was slow and winding, uh, demonstrating the strength of a supernatural patience. Isaiah 40, 29 to 31 says, God gives his power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. The Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. Time and time again, God has used Tinsy to strengthen and renew me. And she's admonished me when I was idle, and her rebukes were always seasoned with a humble awareness of her own sinfulness, of just how wicked we would be without the grace of God. She rebuked me, and she always aimed to restore me through honest and gentle confrontation and correction never giving up on me, but always patiently waiting and having hope that God would grant me conviction, reconciliation, and transformation. And then there's today, the day she has patiently waited for. Tinsy, <laughs> there's nothing I can't share with you. You're my person, and even if I have to marry a boy and move in with him one day, <laughs> you'll still be my person. But today, you married a boy, and you will be moving in with him, and now he'll be your other person. I remember all those days in pharmacy school hearing you share your desire to marry, and now here you are with your husband by your side. We've come full circle on this one, and I couldn't be more happy for you. You were meant to be a wife, and I can't wait to hear you share the, how the Lord strengthens your faith through this. Sorry. And El Pinto. <laughs> You have the biggest honor of calling this kind, easy to love, gentle and patient woman your wife, your person. Uh, when Tinsy first told me about Pinto, he was a nameless and faceless guy. <laughs> no, really, she shared nothing with me. <laughs> All she asked was if I could be in prayer about it. She shared that this one was different, and so she was only uh, asked if I could be in continual prayer. So when I finally had the opportunity to meet you, Pinto, you were a man of 
very, 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 did I say very? Very few words. <laughs> That first encounter meeting you, Pinto, all I could think of was, Lord, this guy is so opposite from who I know my best friend to be. Where Tinsy is warm, hospitable, and easy to talk to. My first impression of you, Pinto, was cold, reserved, and unforthcoming. And I thought to myself, Lord, I don't see it. <laughs> it was my turn to be put to practice my patience and trust God in his plans. And the Lord did not fail. The Lord allowed me to see and gave me a heart to understand what my best friend saw in you, Pinto. Where before I saw you cold and reserved, I saw you as a very genuine person, unable to fake fondness. There's no misreading Pinto's true gratitude, and when you're on the receiving end of that, you truly know his words of gratitude are true. And I was reminded of the first time I met Tinsy and just how every moment with her felt so genuine and real. Where before I saw an unforthcoming man, I came to know a man who can build strong and fond relationships with people, even with few words, AKA Michael. I saw a man who was forthcoming about things that are meaningful and fruitful, the gospel, and shared it with those all around him. And I said at last, ah, Lord, I see it. So thank you, Pinto, for extending your friendship to me and letting me see past your guard, even if you didn't mean to. And thank you for being loving and kind to my best friend. Marshall Siegel says in one of his books, like everything difficult done for Christ, marriage strengthens us to endure in faith, refines and purifies our character, reinforces the hope we have in our Redeemer, and reminds us of the flood of God's love that has been poured into our hearts and lives. I have no doubt that through your marriage, you will both be strengthened to endure in faith, your characters refined, your hope in our Redeemer reinforced, and the Lord glorified. Here's to both Pinto and Tinsy. May the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you both always. And above all, thanks be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> so uh, next we have the best man speech. Uh, a little story before you come up, Michael. <laughs> there. Uh... <laughs> so uh, when Pinto was um, planning to come to the U.S., um, Michael shared that you had to look for some very very nice shoes for church. And so you, you, you went and looked for some very nice shoes and found them. Lo and behold, he comes to the U.S. and opens those, uh, sh that shoe box, comes Sunday morning, and it's the same side of the shoe in the box. <laughs> so I hope you are wearing this different size shoes today, Pinto. Yeah, you want to show? <laughs> Without further ado, if y'all will go ahead and give a round of applause for the best man, Michael. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. So my name is Michael. I'm from Thailand, so please bear with my accent. And um, why I'm trying to say something good to my friend, my best friend here, you know, obviously. Or unfortunately, my best friend. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate for you guys, you know, Tinsi and Binto. Okay. And um, for about two years, and three months that I know Pinto as a friend, I affirm that this 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 is the such a provident providential gift from God to me. For the most part, you know, <laughs> how can how can it be possible for two students? You know, we know each other in the student in, in the school from different country and totally different background to know each other, and to become close friends. I believe it from God. 
first, when we meet, when we first meet, he's just a quiet guy. He's just, you know, like shy and talk really softly and fast. I didn't know why he had to be fast when he talked, you know. Might, might be he, he want to, you know, like get, get rid of, you know, what he want to say or... So we add Facebook to each other. And I, I, I try to, you know, know him by Facebook, look it up, and I see, wow, a lot of pictures there. And all the pictures, is like all the men hugging with each other, you know, like they don't have any picture of lady, none of that. So I think, oh, his character is shy and, you know, like he's quiet, so he he's might not be straight, you know, like he might, so I kind of scare, you know, like how can I, how can I take care of this fresh man, you know, I want to make him, you know, really close and really familiar with the environment in the school. So how can I do this, God? Oh, this guy might be not straight, so. <laughs> Thank God that you get married today, okay? <laughs> Um, and he say from he said that he's from India, so I guess this guy, Indian guy, I believe that he he looked Indian, you know, he looked like Indian guy, and um, I expect him first he should like curry, you know, chicken curry, but for him ex ex exactly not, he can't even. You know, smell the smell of the curry. You know, he say, "Oh, I, I don't like that smell, man. I, I don't want to eat that chicken curry. It's hurt my stomach." I say, "What? This guy Indian? Oh." <laughs> and the second one, Indian has to be known for the programming. You know, he said to be good in computer, right? But but he said to me, "Mike, Mike, how can I download this file? How can I save this file? How can I extract the file?" So. I, what? This guy Indian? <laughs> and the third one, I'm done. I'm done with this, you know. When I talk to him and, you know, every Indian have to like, you know, like shaking his head like this, you know, bubbler, bubbler. But he never showed that one to me, so I'm done. He's not Indian at all. Yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> Even though he's not real Indian as I expect him to be, but unexpectedly, we um, become, have a real friendship with each other. So um, he's the guy who always share his heart to me, his burden, especially about ministry when we are studying the Bible school. And he always share something that really deep and sometimes I even can't help him besides just listen to him. And um, he's really the guy who really um, family man. He always have a, a time to talk with me. Beside that, he always have a time to talk with his family by video call. Every, every day I see him, he have to video call back to his friend, his fam family back home. And that's really encouraged me and be a good example for the guys who love his family. And um, why we struggle with all the school and sometimes like all temptation, he always share with me and we all pray together with each other. And that really encouraged me why I'm doing school, you know, in the, in the state. So, you can see, I'm really sure that he gonna build the family with his hand Literally, he's like a handyman, you know, he can do everything in the house. And he can build the family with his heart, with his kindness, loving kindness, heart. Yep, I'm pretty sure that your family is going to be the blessing to everybody and to all the people that surround you. Okay, thank you, congratulations.
Let's give another round of applause for the best man, Michael. All right, next up we have the very patiently waiting matron of honor, Anu Thomas. Hello everyone. Um, praise God for this day. Well, I'm not a speech person, but yeah. Congratulations, Tinsi and Pinto. It's, it's so nice to see you all together, finally united and happy. I can see the smile in Pinto's face, finally. <laughs> um, Pinto, you already welcome to our family, and now we officially would welcome you to our family. So Tinsi is my sister-in-law, and but more of a sister-in-law, she's been a sister to me and more of a go-to friend. It's been five years for me being in this country and everything was pretty much new, like from the beginning, like the language, the culture, the food. So I remember when I went out for shopping with daddy, we saw a cheese over there and... <laughs> so it was a Parmesan cheese and then we came back home and I was so excited to see a tell Tinsi that I saw some cheese named as Parmeshwaran. And, <laughs> and she was like, what is Parmeshwaran? I said, no, I saw a cheese which was na named as Parmeshwaran. And then we saw, we saw the images and then later on she realized it is Parmesan cheese. And then again one day we both went, me and daddy went out again for shopping and instead of buying cilantro leaves, we brought parsley leaves. So that's how our story goes and then mommy starts coming out and she says, who brings all this over here? And that's the time we know that we are very new to this country, including daddy. And, <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to roast daddy. <laughs> but it's, I only take a lead when Tinsi starts speaking in Malayalam. Her Malayalam is really something that we can take a lead on. One day she, as soon as I landed to this country, she wanted to ask me what happened, but it turned out to say, in the party. <laughs> so that's all the kind of fun we used to have. But apart from all of this, I should say Tinsi is a very selfless, thoughtful, family-oriented, a very strong believer and a God-fearing person. Um, I don't want to take the speech along because I have no control on my emotions. So as I end the speech, I would like to read the verses from Ecclesiastes 4.12, where it says the, the second half, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. May God bless you both in your married life and grow stronger and stronger every year, every day, every moment. Thank you. All right. Let's give another round of applause for the Matron of Honor, Anu Thomas. All right, next up, we'll have the brother of the bride, Tony Thomas. Uh, but before this guy comes up, you know, I have to give a little short story of why me and Danielle are really here. <laughs> so, uh, as he comes here, you know, he might uh, say that this is false, but this is actually what happened. We were actually voluntold to have this position. We, did, we didn't actually want to do it. Not, not because we don't love you guys, but, you know. <laughs> Who? Yeah. <laughs> So coincidentally, it was actually the day of uh, Tinsy Jage's birthday. Uh, Tony Chach invited us to have a surprise uh, birthday lunch. So the real surprise was that Pinto had actually flown in and what, uh, for the lunch. But none of us knew that. Only Tony Chach knew that. And so we were all there. We were having a good time. It was good food, good seafood. And Daniela mentions that, you know, she's uh, slow cooking some pork for some street tacos. She's like, why don't you guys come in later for... Uh, to have some dinner. And we're like, man, who's going to resist authentic street tacos? So we get there, you know, the street tacos are amazing. Probably the best tacos I've ever had. But that wasn't the only thing that I got. Later that night, you know, they're talking about the wedding and they're like, you know, we don't have an MC for the wedding. So how about you do it? And I was like, dude, I've never MC'd anything. How can I be an MC for your sister's wedding? They're like, yeah, you're right. How about we get Daniela to do this too? So that's how me and Daniela got voluntold for this position. I hope, you know, you guys have enjoyed us, but here's to the main man, Tony Thomas.
well, to give me strength and to give me help and support. I don't have my wife here, brother, right now. She's holding the other baby. My first one is with me. So hopefully that will all work itself out. Um, so many things to say. I don't know where to start. Let me look at the time. Okay. I shouldn't go too up, so making sure I'm on time. Um, first of all, let me thank our blessed God for making this day possible in our lives because uh, we stand here on absolute grace of God and the answered prayers of God that we are able to see this day. Many a times we had indeed, and I would be the first one to confess that yes, I had doubted many a times if this is indeed God's plan for her. She was very confident and she continued to trust and she continued to look forward, though, you know, the, the Indian pressure of the parents and the near and dear ones can sometimes be overwhelming. That why are you not getting married? What's the problem? Well, there's no problem. She just didn't get the right person and she's been praying and waiting. But she was, uh, Tinsi was relentless in praying and trusting God and waiting on the Lord, which is a wonderful thing and a testimony in itself. But I want to give thanks to God for an absolute answer to our prayer in Pinto. And that is nothing short of a miracle, and I want to give thanks to God first and foremost. Um, we do want to give thanks to our parents, you know, for um, raising us and doing their very best to helping us to be in the Lord and to teach us and to raise us in a local assembly and teach us the truths from the Word of God. And we are totally delighted to attest that we know the Lord personally and we rejoice in that and that is the same for Tinsy as well. Um, I from my very beginning did not want to have a sister and after six years here I was so excited that my mom is expecting which I didn't understand anything of course not only I knew a baby was coming and as a boy I wanted to have another sibling boy who can play with me and do things like I do. I don't want a girl. That's as simple as that. Well, the flash news comes, here's a baby girl. Don't know how to react. Was kind of probably kicking my toys or doing weird things is what mom says. But I think after she came, uh, I think I just totally transformed from maybe just a no, you know, lack of maturity, no uh, idea where he's going, what he's doing, to a kind of a matured boy, a responsible boy, a, a boy who would look after you know, the, the younger sister, the one who would want to always make sure she's doing the right thing. Um, you know, super precious memories like when dear ones will come to visit us in India, they would always come with candies and cookies and things that are very precious to us. Uh, being the older sibling, I never knew that this was something I could do, but I did. I would make sure I eat mine quickly and ask her, Tinsi, would you not share with your bhaiya? And she would very graciously share. So that's not once or twice, all our life we have done that. And she finally understood that what this guy was doing is eating his portion first very quickly so she could, uh, I could ask her portion as well. So all those kind of tricks I still remember. Uh, she became my cricket partner in, inside a one-room house. We have broken, a lot of, I have broken a lot of mirrors. And asked Tinsi to don't tell daddy and mommy because you know what's going to happen. We'll try to clean up our mess. Did everything that we could. And she was always my partner in that. Somebody whom I have fond memories of going to VBSs, the Vacation Bible School, um, you know, um, to, together in buses. We have traveled together in transport buses, Delhi transport buses. Fond memories of talking together and watching and singing together all the songs that we have learned traveled and trained from Delhi to Kerala is almost a three-day journey. There has been times when both of us have been on the same berth, like the same uh, seat is what we call as birth. And funny, funny experiences that I cannot even uh, kind of think and be, you know, content with. There are so many fond, fond, fond memories of both of us having great time together. Um, I'm a, you know, I once ran away from my house. Don't ask me all the details. I'll tell you later. It's a testimony in itself. But when I did that, I fondly remember uh, mommy telling that, um, you know, it was a time of Diwali. It's a festival in India of lights. And we had, you know, we, in our minimal uh, kind of a, um, financial setup that we were, you know, just maybe 
10 rupees worth of something I'll try to get from somewhere and stock up some crackers, for firecrackers, uh, so that we could go ahead and burn them or burst them on the day of Diwali, just to make some noise. I'm so fearful myself that I was not able to do much, but we used to just stock up things. Those were just memories. And um, I ran away from home probably right around that time, and she kind of told mom, what are we going to do with these things? I would need Baya to be here to help me out with all that. You know, kind of, that's the preciousness of her uh, closeness with me. Uh, you know, letters that she has written, written to me are still with me, and I hold it very dear. When she was here, and, um, and I was back in India for six years by myself, I remember she emailing me and she writing letters to me, uh, encouraging me in the Lord. And I was totally not doing the right thing, but, you know, a, a younger sibling, the one who never, I, I never wanted to have, turned out to be a great encourager in my own life. Her heart for the Lord, her heart for the things of the Lord. We could discuss spiritual things for hours together. We could talk about, um, you know, the testimonies that we have heard and how we react to it, how we, how we think that what they said made sense or not. And being sensitive to the things of the Lord has always been our thing. There's nothing that I can do without her, honestly. Uh, forget about haircut. I mean, d during COVID times, I had to train her up to, uh, you know, cut my hair. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to tie a tie even now, so don't look at who did this. It has to be somebody else, and that is her. And now I have my wife who's helping me out in those kind of things. I mean, uh, there is nothing that I don't ask her. Is this color okay? Is that color okay? What do you think I should do? Everything I ask her. It's a total dependence on my nobody sibling that I had and it's a joy I, I take it as my pride that uh, she came here before me she prepared the way for me when I came I stepped into my own house I've never been in an apartment in my life nor has been my wife both of us has been blessed to enter and walk into our own house in this country which many less people have um, an opportunity to experience so we don't take it lightly at all um, she used to come all the way from Baylor to meet us. She will come all the way from College Station to meet us from A&M. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just been great. A girl whom I left at Delhi Airport who did not know much. She did not know anything. I was not sure. I handed over my mom and my sister into my dad's hands saying, take care of them. They didn't even know how to hold us. They didn't even know what a cell phone looked like because we didn't have one. So when I come to this country, a girl who can drive, and she can drive great, and a girl who knows everything. Pinto and I are totally to, like alike, I guess, because I have no tech idea. I don't even know how to put this thing on a mic stand. I was struggling at the church today. So absolutely lame guy has an awesome sister who is absolutely a total package. And without her, I don't think so. I'll be complete in our family. So I give God all the thanks for what he has done in his great plan for me in my life here. So I just want to give thanks to God for what it has been as a journey for us together as siblings. And um, uh, Anu coming into our life and becoming that extended family and now Pinto coming into. So, you know, it's a beautiful way to see how God has connected all of this. Even for the Alliance thing, as I said, there were times when we had uh, given hope, at least not that given hope, like... Is this right for her? Is this not right for her? All of those kind of questions. And she would continue to ask me, Baya, you talk. You do this. Can you, can you tell me? And we both will talk and pray and think about these things. With Pinto, she was absolutely sure. This wedding or this marriage alliance has only happened because God planned it. And it was affirmed in the heart of Tinsi for sure that I know because I was with her day and day night. And of course, in the heart of Pinto. So many ups and downs have happened that I don't want to share here. But I can tell you one thing, she knew this was right. That is enough for me because I trust that she's a, she's a God-honoring woman who looked to the Lord for guidance and not for others. But she always respected and, and regarded the, the advice and guidance that every godly person has given to her and give thanks for that. For Pinto, the only couple of things I will say, the first time I called him, 
Uh, it was, I think he called it as if an FBI agent calling him <laughs> and grilling him <laughs> and asking him so many questions. And he said, Tinsi already told me that Baya is my all in all and he will ask you all questions so make sure you're able to answer. And <laughs> I don't know what all she told him, but it was a delight. The one thing I, I respected absolutely about Pinto, there are many things I don't like, honestly, but there were one thing that was very, very positive about him. He said that the reason I am in this, um, the desire to study God's word here is because I had this burden in my heart to share the gospel with even the dear ones, while, even with the lost people while I was working. That burden constrained him. That burden pushed him. That burden brought in more a firm decision in his heart that he had to study the word. And the place that he was at the local place, he did not have all that he could, and the Lord brought him in his time through many ways that are absolutely nothing short of a miracle. But his conviction, and his conviction that he wanted to serve the Lord, along with making sure his family has been served. He, he, he looked to me not just like a man, he acted like a man. That was very important to me, and I was very happy and confident about that, and that is still one of the trademarks of Pinto that attracts me and I appreciate. Of course, what Daniela says, I fully agree. Our first impressions for me and Daniela was alike. He doesn't talk much. I have to poke to make him speak. And you know, I mean, I've been speaking for 10 minutes and you guys are getting bored. So I'm a nonstop chatterbox like some of us, you know, here. And Pinto is total opposite. He wouldn't talk. You have to like poke. Okay, what next? What next? He'll look there and say something. I'm like, dude, I'm talking to you. You know, he's very different. So, but... He loves the Lord, and he's been very committed to take care of Tinsey, and I just commit them into the hands of the Lord. That is all I could do, and I know that the Lord will take them through the ups and downs of this marriage journey. So welcome, Pinto, and Tinsey, I love you. Pinto, I love you. And on our mom's behalf as well, I know many of you have been thinking and asking where mom is, and uh, you know, for the last couple of days or maybe days or so, she has not been feeling well for a while, and... You know, she, if there was any person here who would have been doing what I'm doing right now, he's going around and meeting, it would have been her. And I know that's how she is. You all are very dear to her. She cannot be here because she's not well. And we did not think it was fit for her to be here if there is something that could pass to others. That was not, not in our heart that we could, we could think of. So that's why the biggest day of her life, she's not here, but we know that she's watching. She's enjoying every minute that everybody has been taken care of, and they all are so excited to be here. Many have taken a lot of efforts to be here. I, I cannot thank enough, but we know a lot of us are grieving in our hearts that mom is not here in person right now to just celebrate, just to see this answered prayer. But is there anything impossible for God? No, nothing. So the Lord has made provision for her to see and witness it, and I think we're content with that for now. So, uh, just want to give, take two more minutes to just thank uh, our assembly family, North Richland Hills Bible Chapel. All the dear saints have been relentlessly praying for us and supporting us in many, 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 many ways that I cannot even express fully well. Not only the assembly, the direct assembly that we are from, but all the neighboring assemblies of this community, as well as even elsewhere, have supported us beyond what we can ask and really think. They have come in different, different ways. Phone calls, coming home and dropping food, reaching out to us. How can we help? What can we do? No, give this to us. We'll do it. We'll take it. That's how they have been. And I thank God for each one of the, the, my, my immediate assembly family, as well as all the extended assembly and local church families who are here. You all have done a lot for us, and we do appreciate it. We are humbled, and we only pray that we will continue to do the same for fellow believers as well. That's just our desire. So we want to thank each one of our saints here. I want to give special thanks to our dear Alexander Korean uncle. Uh, uncle almost, I mean, I don't know if I should say that officially. Uncle told at the last wedding, I'm done. I'm taking retirement from doing this. Uh, but then I, when Tinsy told me, I was like, I, I don't know, what do I do? No. But I was like, no, there is nothing else I could do. I have to call and before even I called I think mom called and you know how mom is she's unstoppable she will just go and uh, uncle was very gracious to say yes Tony 
And our association with uncle goes way, way back from India. Our Delhi memories are fond. He was one of my conference mentors who even wrote letters and sent family pictures to me. And I have fond memories of him. And he's a great mentor to me. And I really appreciate, uncle, your willingness to solemnize the wedding. I do want to thank a special family uh, that is uh, Joe Philip uncle and family. I dearly call them uncle. Many would ask why you call him uncle and similar age people something else like Josh or something. I don't care. I just affectionately call him Joe uncle and Nishanti. They are like that for me forever. They are just great people. They are selfless people. They have been in every aspect of this wedding from the very beginning till very moment. Uh, you know, from coming for tastings to going to find the venue calling all different churches, finding vendors, doing all sorts of things. Yesterday, even at the rehearsal, they did not get an opportunity to eat along with another family that I'm going to just mention. They did not get a chance to eat, but not that they did not. They chose not to eat so that there's sufficient food for others. That is their selfless love. And on top, they send, you know, three half tray food at our places to make sure we all have been taken care. So a family who has uh, just done beyond what I can express in words. So, Joe Uncle, Nishanti, Abel, Mark, Eric, Joe Uncle's parents, I just sincerely thank you. My thanks is not enough, but the Lord will reward you for sure because he's no debtor to anybody. And what you have influenced in our life, that act of humility, willingness to serve each other, to demonstrate what you preach, that has absolutely been a joy to just follow somebody whom I call as my um, as, as my spiritual mentor who takes me and leads me and helps me as, as God does wonders through his life and he expresses all that to us and it's a joy to just be behind him and see how great things uh, God is doing through his life and his family life. So we want to give you thanks and especially for the word ministry that you took, the message that you took today. We give thanks for that. I have already received many uh, text messages of giving thanks to the speaker who spoke. It is from the Lord, and I want to give thanks to God and give you thanks, Uncle, for all that you guys have done relentlessly for us. I want to give thanks for all the other dear ones, the elders of our assembly, once again, for their support, too. Blessing Church and family has been no less in many ways. Even there, another family who did not eat anything yesterday, and they left, making sure we all were fed. They're always on the background trying to do everything. He has been asking me, what can I do? How can I serve? You tell me. You don't worry. Joshua has been behind my life. Why? Judge, tell us. What can I do? You don't. You have to be here. Don't go anywhere else. So I want to thank you guys dearly for what you have done for our family. It is no short of giving you thanks. I want to give thanks to um, the, um, an another, another dear uh, family. Especially I want to give thanks to the sister, Sister Annie Sam. Um, I don't know how many families know this dear sister. Uh, this is Sam Benicudi and Annie Benicudi and their four kids. Uh, Sister um, Annie is just beyond how I can explain, okay? This is very, very tough. They just came to our assembly a few, I mean, I, almost like years now, maybe a couple of years if I'm not wrong, maybe a year or so, and they have just, they've just been amazing. She just picks up things. She overhears things. Oh, you want to get this done? I'll get it done. You give her any kind of junk that is out there, and she will turn it around and make it so presentable that you wouldn't even know this was bought from the junk or somewhere. She is so incredibly gifted and talented. And her heart, her willing heart to help and support is beyond measure. I don't see where she is, but I really want her to know how much we as a family appreciate her um, relentless work. A lot of hard working. She was the one who just took on things. You could give me, I'll do it coordinated, do whatever is needed. You have to pay hefty price to get a coordinator these days. Uh, she has, I mean, she has not charged us. I don't know what she'll charge others, but she has been gracious to not charge us yet. My invoices might be coming later, but she has been amazing. And I want to give thanks to God for her and Sam, especially for allowing her. They have a busy, busy life. It's not like they don't do anything in life. So I want to give thanks to God and Sam's willingness and the children's willingness they do a lot of support back, but they just don't let us know how much they have been doing. So I want to give them a special shout out as well. One more family and then just some um, other dear ones who have been great help. Uh, Tinuchach and Anuchechi family. I don't know how, um, you know, what should I say? What should I not say? I don't know. 
uh, you know, they are uh, my first cousins, and um, uh, the Lord has provided for them. They have given, the Lord has pr given them, you know, provisions beyond measure, and they're very thankful for that. They're not those kind of people who hold on to it or show off, hey, I have this, I have that, and I don't like to share anything. They're total opposite. Whatever is theirs, they're willing to just give it to others in whatever way it is. Many children of God sitting here can testify that how they give their houses just like that for others, whatever. Not just houses, everything they can. And uh, they have been overly, overly gracious to us in uh, offering their couple of B&Bs that they had for Pinto's family and other families. Very graciously, I didn't have to do anything. And he was like, just take, Tony, you take what you need. Just take it, just take it, just take it. Um, I don't know how to give them thanks, but I can just say the Lord will definitely reward you. Tinochech and Anuchechi, Nathan and Natalie, we love you guys. And um, I know this is very less of what we can say, but we know how much we feel deeply for your, for your uh, kindness and for your help in many ways that we cannot express. But thank you from the bottom of our heart. I do want to uh, thank this place, Hearst Conference Center, uh, Christina, Chris, Brad, and their staff, they have been great thus far in many ways, and I want to give them thanks. We had come here for multiple tastings for many reasons, but in whatever the case be, I was convinced that I want to get things done here, and I'm not going away from here. And she appreciated that we did not just sign this up saying, okay, we have no other place to go. We had multiple options. At that time, I was not very clear. We prayed about it, and we were committed that we wanted to stick here, even though there were so many hurdles in between. So Christina, Chris, Brad, the AV person, and all the dear ones who have been here, I want to give you guys thanks for all that you have done. This is nothing short of uh, what I had expected, even though there may be some ups and downs, but believe me, though there is nothing called as perfect, but at least I know that you guys did the very best and we are very appreciative of that. I want to give thanks to Steve Thomas, the SBT, a photography team. He's one of our fellow believers from Mesquite Brethren Assembly. So if anybody's ever looking for photography, do consider him. He's a young brother in the Lord, and he's doing a great job, and the Lord is helping him in his business. But at the same time, he was very gracious in helping us out as well, and we appreciate that, Steve, and his entire team. I want to thank the Kia Catering, Sibi Uncle. Many of you know um, um, Sibi Uncle that we order from, and you all know that Indian Catering Place. He's been very gracious to give us wonderful appetizers, and I thank him as well for his willingness to help us in many ways. There are a lot of things that have gone behind it, but he was very, very gracious in helping us, so we want to give thanks. Give thanks to the decor. Uh, we did not have an elaborate decor, but whatever was there, they did great, and I want to give thanks to them. This is Alpha Decor, and Mr. Vinod has done a lot of our Christian weddings or, you know, our assembly, local weddings as well, and he's very nice and easy to work with, and their team has been great as well thus far, regardless of so many hurdles, up, you know, that has come before us. They were very, very good, so I want to give them thanks. I want to give thanks to Jacob Sachin, uh, who's doing this live thing through Talsamayam and many dear ones across India, and many other places are able to see this. Uh, he took a 21, 22-hour journey all the way from Detroit to make sure that he's here to get this done. I did not even have had to ask him twice, uh, Church, I want you to do this. He said, Tony, I got it, that's it. He didn't, he, he had, so many things had to be done and he was always available and uh, more than willing to work with us. Uh, I have a funny story of him. He stayed one night at our house. I didn't know he has some, <laughs> he may not like it. <laughs> he stayed with us and we all had food and he went up and we went up and slept. Poor Ajayan comes down because the sugar dropped. <laughs> He's looking for candies at our house when we have two kids and he couldn't find one. And I was like, Josh, I'm so sorry that I never thought that you would need candies at our house. But he's that close to us. He's a wonderful church, and I just love him. He's just overly generous. So, Jensi Jechi, Jacob Church, thank you so much. We couldn't have done this thing without you. We just had you in mind, and you are the only one who could do it. So, thank you. Thank you for honoring our request. I do want to uh, thank Matai Chachin. I know all our most weddings. We all know Matai Chachin pretty well. He's known in the community as Matt, but I think Matai Chachin seems to be the best way I can call him. So, uh, you know, he's the one who does all the AV sound, and he's been overly gracious to take out time, even though, um, you know, he 
has things going on. He took time, and even the, all that was orchestrated by Joe Uncle behind it. So again, you know, Joe Uncle's influence over there was, again, <laughs> great. I want to give thanks to him as well, Charles. Thank you. The cake, which I did not have it yet. Uh, they cut it, or I don't know what all they do with that, but they said they're going to keep it till the next anniversary. I don't think so that's going to happen, or the first anniversary. I'm going to eat that for sure. That is graciously and graciously done by our dear Joanna. Joanna, who is our dear Joe and uncle's daughter, same attitude, same heart, and with same joy, she will serve others. Joanna, we love you. Rowell is no short of that. He is super excellent. He's a perfect, perfect addition at Joe's uncle's house. And Joe Molenti, we cannot thank you enough for what you have done as well. But this cake, beautiful cake setup, don't ask me what's real, what's fake. I don't know that. I'll only eat the cake. So Joanna did that, and it's Joe's cake is what she's known. But she's, again, a fellow believer, and she does a great job. So God bless her for that as well. I do want to uh, thank our wonderful MCs, Abel and um, Daniela. Did a great job. They were voluntold is what they said. I think if this is how voluntold is done, then this is how excellent they, they do. So we really give thanks to them as well. I do want to thank all our ushers. Who, who did a great job, not only here, but also on the other side, taking care of everything uh, from the beginning. I didn't have to move a muscle. They just did everything. Guys, thank you so much. There are, most of them are our youth group, technically all, and they were just simply willing to do. Uh, the singing team. Uh, Chris David, many of you all know Chris David. He's from, uh, he now is with Edmonds Lane Bible Chapel. He's very, very skilled. He's the one who was playing even at the chapel all throughout. There was no music anywhere else. I just asked him once, and he was more than gracious to say, Tony, I'll do it. He kept following up. He kept doing it. He said, I'll do it. I am just super encouraged just with this one fact. When fellow believers rally together and work together as a team, it's absolutely awesome. And God was, I'm sure God's hand of help was everywhere, and we have experienced that thus far, and I want to give thanks to God. Once again, I you know, want to give thanks to both this wonderful couple. I want to give thanks to God. I want to give thanks to all of you. You dear ones who have come all the way from India, from Canada, from Chicago, from Atlanta, from Houston. Many of you said you would not be able to make it because of the ice. But the Lord turned around the tables and gave us the decent weather for us to drive and be able to come. So I want to give thanks. Thank you guys for all that you have done. Sorry that it took long, but I didn't know if there was a better opportunity for me to give thanks apart from this time. So on behalf of our family on behalf of us as a family, and now they're a total new family, so they'll do their part separate. I'm not keeping them in my group now, but on behalf of my family and my parents, I want to give thanks to God and take this opportunity to thank each one of you for you being here with us. It means a lot, and we really mean it. Thank you. Okay, so probably this is not part of the sequence, but uh, I was told to do that. Um, I wrote this song when I first came to know the Lord. And uh, when I look at this day, I am really thankful for the Lord for um, having me come here all the way from India alone. And uh, really glad and thankful never in my life would I wanted to miss my sister's wedding who I grew up with back in Delhi. And uh, I really love her. God bless the couple. Please take care of her, Pinto Bhaiya. <laughs> okay, so this song is dedicated for you guys. And um, this is for the Lord, of course. So let's enjoy this. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful sunshine you gave upon this day. Thank you, Lord, for these beautiful memories I have till this day. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've given in my life. Thank you for making me, for shaping me, for loving me for who I am. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful life, this air that I breathe. Thank you, Lord, for these beautiful people who my call friends thank you lord for the food that 
I have friends and family Thank you for making me, for shaping me For loving me for who I am I wanna jump, clap, sing and dance Anything for you, Lord I wanna cry, shout, and praise your name I love you for who you are I wonder what you saw in me And that you gave up yourself for me I wonder what you saw in me And that you gave up yourself for me I'm really thankful for this family Especially her She's so, so, so encouraging I know when I'm I'm the only one in my family who I mean, not only one But, you know, they know my heart for the Lord And uh, they really encourage me And I'm really, really thankful for her God bless you all. And now, if you want to give a round of applause and encouragement to the bride and groom, they're going to go ahead and give a thank you for everyone. I wasn't planning to say anything. Um, I did try to write thank you, my speech on our note that we were sharing uh, for a few months. But week by week, it just keeps changing, um, keeps growing longer and longer. And especially this last week, it got to a point where I was like, this, this reception might take the entire evening. It might be a whole day event. If I continue talking about all the little things that God orchestrated for us to make this day happen. Um, first of all, just thank and praise God for just today for allowing us to get married and for this union. Um, it's definitely an answer to prayers as all of y'all have already heard and witnessed. And for those who know me as well, and also for uh, Pinto as well. Um, uh, it was definitely hard just in the last two days uh, of knowing uh, uh, the closest people in my family, my mom herself could not be here physically. Uh, and I, for a minute second, even had a thought like, maybe we need to postpone with all this no apocalypse hitting us and mom not feeling well, but uh, how good is God to just still give me peace in this uh, storm and allowing me to know that, uh, uh, I mean, mom's, uh, she's, you know, she's at home, she's not uh, too bad to where she's hospitalized or something where we have to move mountains and uh, change plans up. So I'm thankful that uh, even though she's not physically here, I've been FaceTiming her every, every you know, 30 minutes here and there and we're just constant communion. He's, and uh, also it just reminded me, the fact that Pinto's parents are not here either, and it just kind of gave me a perspective, like God giving us the same experience of ha not having, you know, parents or par one of your parents not being here. So uh, just understanding his heart as well, because my heart really did go out for not having his parents or grandparents here. Uh, but in that, in all of that, I'm just thankful that God still allowed everything to happen in God's will and time. I won't take my. I think. You guys can tell how much thankful we are, especially after hearing what my brother said. So uh, to wrap it, wrap it all up for what he said, I do want to thank him for uh, just being there, him and Bobby, even Bobby with uh, my sister-in-law with her uh, infant and toddler next to her, uh, going along with me, trying out dresses. Uh, running around doing little, little things from the beginning to the end. Uh, thank you will not do it. And, and we don't really say thank you. We just do things for each other to express our thankfulness. And that's how we've always been. Um, and I hope and pray that we continue to do that uh, with another family member added to us. Uh, we can't wait to do that uh, all together now as a full family. I, I no longer am a third wheel in my family. I'm not just with my mom and dad or my brother and sister-in-law, but now I have a bit with me. So I'm thankful for God's blessing in that. Um, I do want to give thanks to uh, my bridal party, my amazing, amazing, amazing group of friends, close friends who are here. Uh, 
Guys, God was moving mountains, even in this, in this weather, for, um, with all the flight cancellations. And people who, there are so many empty tables you see that they really wanted to be here but couldn't because of the weather. Uh, but how, I don't, I'm still amazed on how it all just worked out for these key people. And thank you so much, um, Alina, Franny, Lynn, Daniela. Uh, for being here and supporting me uh, and just, yeah, enriching my life. And same for Pinto's guys. Um, thank you all for all the sacrifices you all made during school, uh, just even with going around shopping for your suits. Uh, thank you so much. I, it does really, uh, I, I really feel so loved and honored through Pinto's um, friendship with you all. And I hope that you all will continue this bond. Um, and uh, and just, um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure there's so many other key little things that Bhai has already mentioned, but thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for just being here and supporting me and uh, just continue to pray for us as we uh, uh, start our family life together. Um, and uh, I'm going to say when I was making these name cards on the table for uh, each of the tables, uh, I had an opportunity to just... Um, sit and pray for you all. So uncle was saying how intentionally we had invited each and every person who's here. Uh, and it's true. And uh, I did get an opportunity to just pray and commit everyone here. So uh, you guys mean a lot to me in my personal life. Everyone from my work, uh, from school, from pharmacy school, from you know my uh, friends and families from near and far. Um, just thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Good evening, everyone. Uh, finally, it's my turn. I'm pretty much nervous, so <laughs> I hope everyone is having a blessed time. We just want, we just want to take a moment to acknowledge God's doing in our life. First of all, we want to thank God who enabled us to be together in this manner. Thanks to the God Almighty who helped us, and talk and thanks for all the godly servants who helped us to do this. Special thanks for uh, Uncle Alexandra Kurian and Joe Uncle, thank you. Thanks for your message. Um, I don't know. Next for the most important people in my life. First of all, I want to thank my parents, my papa and mommy, daddy, mommy. I know mommy and papa, it'll be so hard. You are not here. But I want to thank you for helping me. And I want to thank my Appacha and Amachi. Appacha, you are the one who taught me to be a godly man. I know all the best, best time of my life I was with you. And I really miss you. Hopefully we both can see you. Thank you, Amachi. And I especially miss all your food. As my friend mentioned, I like all our food. That's not true. <laughs> I mean, what Michael was telling. I used to love that food now anymore. It's because of some issues. I can't have any Indian food. That's why I changed. <laughs> Next, I want to thank my siblings. God blessed me with two wonderful sisters. As uh, Alian told, you know, how good it is to have sisters. Uh, I'm also so happy to have a big brother. I mean, always I wanted to have a brother in my life. Finally, God blessed me with a big brother, whom I get to call Alian. Alia, you're really wonderful. Uh, you. Oh, sorry. From day one I met you, I always wonder uh, and admire how the way you talk. As you said, you keep on talking, but still. I enjoyed all that. You are such a wonderful person, godly man. And Anuchechi, thanks for all your hard works and being here, being a support for TNC and for me, praying and helping us, um, especially Imala. Love you, Viraji. Oh, right there. My Shundipana. Love you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next, I want to thank my sisters, Pinky. Thanks for being on my side, and I'm so proud of you. I have learned a lot from you. The love for Christ 
and others. You always carry a bright smile that lights up the room. My younger sister, Betty, love you. My secret keeper, thank you for being on my side. Even though you're younger to me, but always you acted as my older sister. And I want to thank, I got three nephews, I want to thank three of them for loving, and I know you guys miss me, same here. <laughs> Next, I want to thank the most, most, most important person in my life. It's none other than my, my dear uncle, Raj uncle. Uncle, I love you. You're the reason I'm here. You're my role model. You're my mentor. Thank you for intruding in me the desire to serve the lords. I will always be thankful to God for putting you into my life. There is so much I can say about you, but I don't want to. I don't want to get so emotional, Uncle. Rubenti, thank you for loving me and taking care of me. You know me, my taste, my likes, my dislikes, everything. I don't know how you figured out all this, but still, I love you, Auntie. Shash, love you. Don't worry, I won't leave you. Always I'll be a big brother. Next, I want to thank Ruhi. I don't know, I don't have words how to explain all the sacrifice and all the things that you have done for me and being here. I love you. I don't know whether I can make it back or pay back, but still I love you. We both will love you. And there are a lot of people I want to thank, but I want to thank my school, my friends, my church members, even back home and here, everyone I want to thank. Last but not least, I want to thank the wonderful woman who is standing next to me, whom I get to call my wife. Babe, I love you. All this thing, she did all this. As most of you guys said, I mean, Ali and Chechi, mommy, daddy, like, you know, everyone was praising and love. Babe, you're really amazing. Love you. Thank you. Danny, you're supposed to come here. <laughs> All right, let's give another round of applause for the brand new couple. All right, after uh, we have some videos uh, that we want to show from both the groom and the bride side uh, for the people that weren't able to make it. Priya Pindo Tinsimol in Allah, Anigriki Pata the Sutil, Yangal the Sutil, Yangalka, Yangal Anigriki Pata, Anigriki Pata, Urupavi Nerunu, Pura than I Devam, Ningalde Sangedam, Kire Sasuda Pujangalunde, Kartav Ningalde, Kudumajidam, Etamadium, Tani Markate, Praise the Lord. Hi Pindo Kutan and Tinsimol. I wish you very, very happy and blessed married life. We are praying for you and God bless you both. Dear Acharya and Jechi, wishing a blessed and happy married life. Take care and love you. Pindaja and Tinsi Jechi, congratulations uh, on this special day. Have a blessed and happy married life. God bless. God bless you. Hello, Pindo Chan Ting Sichi. Wish you a happy married life together. We are so happy for you. God bless you and congratulations. Hi Pindo, hi Tinsi. In the Vivahi Dara and the Ningalka, Elavi the Mangalasam Salam, Devanamatil, Nangal Nerud. Hi Tinsi, welcome to Kaduthil family. Wish you a happy, happy married, married life. life. Love, Love you both. Pindo Jatsa, Tinsi Echi, 
Congratulations on your biggest day in your life. May God grant you wisdom, blessings and happiness. Wish you both a happy, happy married life. life. Pinto on a um, have a happy married life. Uh, hello Pinto, wishing you a good wedding and happy married life. Hi Pinto, we are so happy that you are getting married and uh, we wish we are there. We are wishing you all a very uh, good, happy, uh, blissful, uh, wedded life. That's it. Hey Pinto, I bring you greetings from Wisconsin. Uh, hoping that God bless the union of your new marriage. We are so happy for you. Marriage can be such a blessing and I hope that you will grow to be a godly husband a kind husband, and if God allows it, a good father. May blessings be upon you, guy. We're happy for you. Hey, Pinto. How's it going? Just wanted to say congratulations on uh, getting married. We're so excited for you in this new step in your life. It's definitely going to be a fun journey, but uh, we'll be praying for you guys all along the way. Yeah. And, uh, just so you know, if she doesn't like you, you always have a home here. <laughs> so congratulations. God bless. We are joining from Kerala, the Kaligil family, brother of Thomas, since his dad. This is our pleasure to be with you on this lovely occasion of your wedding ceremony. Unfortunately, we are not able to reach there physically, but we are with you in our hearts and prayers through. Hi, Tinsi and Pinto. This is Samu Papan and Bina Andy from Vancouver. We are unable to make it to Texas at this time. This is a special day for all of us. May God bless you and give you happiness and healthy, prosperous family life. Congratulations, Tensi and Pindo. May God bless you on your special day. All the very best. Thank you. Hi, Tensi from your Vancouver and Toronto cousins. We just wanted to take the time to congratulate you on your special day. And despite being so far away, we really wish you guys the best. And we're celebrating with you in spirit. And we also want to say welcome, Pinto, to the family. Greetings, everyone. Uh, salutations and blessings coming from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, Tinsi and Pinto, uh, unfortunately, we can't be with all of you and our extended family and all our cousins, aunts, and uncles down there. We really regret that. We love you all. Uh, but we wanted to send our love and warmth and appreciation. I'm sure we will see you sometime down the road, hopefully sometime very soon. But we didn't want to let the wedding go on without us uh, saying hi and passing on our best on to you. Welcome. Great. Yeah, we had a Bible verse for you. It's, uh, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 9, 10, and 11. And it says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone, who he falls and has no one to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But when, how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. Yeah, so we send our regards to all of you. We are so excited for you to see and Pinto for coming together. And we are so grateful the Lord has uh, uh, brought you both together in this wonderful occasion. And that we are sending prayers and blessings to you all the way from here in Vancouver, Canada. Yes. Yes. Congratulations for uh, Pinto and the Tilsi. Uh, you know, the Maran Party Gathering, there was someone left. So, wish you all the best. I'll throw me the name, Lava Kornish, to Kodan Party, to know you can know. Lava into the church over here. Thank you. All right, everyone. Uh, all the best on the wedding and happy marriage. All the rest of the family, extended family, cousins. We miss you all. Hopefully, we'll see you all very soon. Uh, God bless. Uh, all the best from us. Cheers. Bye. I'm MC this Isaac and family from Goa. Wish you a happy married life. The word of God says, Except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain, then build it. 
Psalms 127 verse 1. Hello Jinsi, wishing you a blessed married life and as you begin your journey together, may God's um, guidance be with you. May He protect you and bless you. Hello Jinsi, all the best on your wedding. Hello Jinsi, all the best on your wedding. Congratulations Jinsi and Pinchu. We as a family are extremely delighted that God has united you in His perfect time. Our prayer is that the Lord will give you the fortitude to remain steadfast in your commitment to love each other. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Romans chapter 12 verse 10. God, God bless, bless you all. I didn't see that I'm really sad that I can't attend your wedding in person. I mean it has been my lifelong dream to attend your wedding in a gown, you know that, right? I've been pestering you for it over I don't know how many years now. So since that now is happening right now, I am definitely going to come there with a gown and then we'll do a photo session where I'm in a gown and you are in your wedding dress and then we'll photoshop it in your uh, photo album, wedding photo album just for the sake of it. And jokes apart, I really want to wish the both of you a very happy married life. It's a new and exciting phase and I hope all your dreams come true. Congratulations to Tsi and Pintu on beginning this new phase of your life. Uh, I'm very excited for both of you and uh, this is going to be an amazing journey. Um, and knowing Tinsi and how strongly she believes in God, uh, I know that God is going to be your guiding light. All the best and lots of love to you. May God bless you as, as you get married today. Lord bless you as you bless was and Ruth. May he bless you as he bless Aquila and Priscilla. May your house be as their house where they took Bible classes for Apollo. May you teach others the word of God. May your house be a house of church gathering as it was a house of Philemon and May your house be a house of church gathering as it as the house of the past. May God's people find solace as you serve God in your house of hope and God. Your family may be a family who worship God. Your worship life, your interior, your inside life, and your outside life may it be acceptable to God. I count it a great privilege to speak a few words on this auspicious occasion. We have been praying as a family for dear Tinsi and it is our privilege to witness her wedding. We as a family wish dear Tinsi and Pinto all the best and a blessed, happy, wedded life. As in the words of Peter the Apostle, being heirs together of the grace of life. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the family, I'd like to thank you all again for uh, being part of this uh, time and this special moment in both of their lives. Uh, if I can ask Brother Raymond Johnson to close this uh, meeting in prayer. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that we have had today. Father, we thank you that even though the weather was quite challenging, there were many difficulties that you still allowed us to be here, as was mentioned already, that uh, you allowed the sun to shine and to ease the way here. And Father, what a wonderful time it has been for each of us. What a time of encouragement. And Father, even more so, we know that the dear ones, Pinto and Tinsi, have been encouraged. Father, we have heard so much about them we know that it gives us specifics for prayer. Father, we consider that Tinsy was even, even praying for each of us as the cards were being made. 
And Father, so it is for us then that we have a great responsibility and burden as ones that have chosen to come, that we too should continue to pray for them, that they would seek you, that they would understand how they are to live for you and how they are to glorify you in their own lives, and that they likewise can be an encouragement to others. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity, this occasion that we have been able to witness, this dear couple, that, uh, that we would see them and that we would see them grow and continue as they have a desire to, to reach the lost and to serve you for you and your glory. Father, we pray that you would grant to us a wonderful evening, that you would give to them a wonderful time, not just today, but as the days continue, and that we would have occasion to speak to one another as we would uh, come across one another wherever it may be, and that we can hear of all that you are doing in our lives and how you would continue to encourage us along the way. We pray all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, as you all are ready to head out uh, and give the bride and groom uh, final wishes, uh, we do have photos that can be taken with them. So uh, before you guys head out, make sure uh, you guys do that. Thank you.